But yeah, I am taking part in Ramadan with a lot of my brothers and sisters, my Muslim brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smart to Jannah or whatever. Smart to Jannah or whatever. <laughs> Everyone must use Ramadan giving. Why? Yeah. I use it because it's a free option for you to automate your donations to numerous charities in one go. No. And over the remaining days of Ramadan, it's going to prove very helpful. Wait a minute. Because you could automate it over a number of days and catch the night of power. So get the reward of donating without the hassle of entering your details again and again. Every human being should be a seeker of truth on this planet. Or any other planet. <laughs> Considering there are so many religions and opinions and cults, we should jump at any opportunity that will help us to get closer to the truth. One such individual that shines in this regard is an NBA basketball player called Kyrie Irving. Now this guy right here, even in his posts, even in his interviews and dialogue, he interchangeably uses God and Allah because he understands that they are just names of the one true Lord. You know, it's respect both ways, but uh, you know, we just want to come out here and handle business. Grateful always to Allah, God for allowing me to come out here. So uh, I'm just grateful. And he uses it to bring the two biggest communities, the Christians and the Muslims together and the others. Hmm? But of course, people in whose hearts the hatred has permeated, they can't stand any of this stuff of bringing people together. God forbid we actually unite against the powers whose interests it is to keep us divided. <laughs> Who wants to be doing that? So this guy at the start of Ramadan, he took a day off. Yeah, and because he's been talking about Allah and you can see that he is somebody that is tapping into spirituality and stuff like that, people put one and one together and got 73.4 recurring. The keyboard warriors entered the realm. Kyrie has become a Muslim. That's right, he's fasting. Why is he doing this? And even the Muslims, yeah, I, I think Kyrie Ramadan was trending on Twitter and this discussion and debate had ensued. But Kyrie himself hadn't confirmed whether he was Muslim or not, whether he was fasting or not. But a couple of days ago, here's what he said. Um, but yeah, I am taking part in Ramadan with a lot of my brothers and sisters, my Muslim brothers and sisters, and it's been an adjustment. That's really what I can say, just being um, committed to my service to God, Allah, and then continuing on um, with whatever I'm guided with. So you know just happy to to be part of my my community and doing the right things so fasting is definitely part of it uh, obviously if you know anything about the muslim community um but yeah i'm just just really blessed and grateful to to be taking part in this so not only has he been fasting but he's been fasting and playing at the highest level now hang on a minute i've uploaded a few videos in which i'm showing muslims playing at high levels and then opening their fast. But here you have a non-Muslim putting himself through that, even though he's not obligated to, but he still does that. Is that not a sign of a true seeker? I think that's a powerful message for anyone that's watching that is like, I don't know, I'm not sure. When opportunities like this come, what's the harm? Fast, yeah, fast with the Muslims. It doesn't mean you've become a Muslim and follow the protocols that the Muslims are following to experience it. And also ask Allah, ask God for guidance. How on earth will he not guide you if you are sincere? Yeah, but a lot of us, we carry baggage and we, even when we're seeing things, we're seeing things through the prism of social media and mainstream media. And kudos to Kyrie who has put a lot of that to the side because I'm going to be honest, it is very difficult yeah, not to be influenced by social and mainstream media yeah, and you know the images that we're constantly bombarded about Muslims and to be objective and looked at, look at Islam not by looking at the Muslims but looking at the texts, Te texts, the texts. I was mega inspired by this and quite taken aback. Subhanallah, you know, why do we not see many people like this? And it does take a lot of guts because especially when you're at that level, your promoters will say, no, don't say this. You're going to alienate these people. This is your bigger fan base and this and that. And even for the Muslims that are watching, 
they should inspire us to think, hang on a minute, a non-Muslim just for the sake of truth can put himself through this? What about as Muslims who have the truth? May Allah give us the ability to understand the true sanctity of Ramadan. Yeah, because we're in the middle 10 days now and a lot of people get lazy and that's why you don't see the mosques that pack out. This is the time that you and I should go to make ourselves stand out and make those du'as. Oh Allah, I'm here. I'm here. Other people aren't here, but I'm here. That shows loyalty. Yeah? And then you make that dua. Then let's see how powerful that dua actually is. Let's leave it there, guys. I'll see you next time. Yeah, Don't try it. Yeah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum.